Guys, in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can fix the clicking or tapping sound on your calculator app on the Samsung Galaxy S20 or the S21, the S20 Ultra or S21 21 Ultra. Okay, you can hear the click is quite loud. And this is especially true when uh, after you have updated the software on your Galaxy device. So here, we're just gonna go back to the home screen on the Galaxy S21 Ultra on my right hand side. I'm going to swipe down and tap on settings. In settings, you want to tap on sounds and vibration. Then in here, go down and tap on system sound and vibration control. Then tap on touch interactions and turn off the switch. Now if I open up my calculator, it will no longer make any clicking or tapping sound. Okay, so this might not work at all for, for some people. So you might need to perform a software update. So you can go into um, settings and then go down and tap on software update and see if there's any new, new software update that um, Samsung tried to fix the bug for the calculator app. You can also go into the Galaxy store. So tap on Galaxy store and look for the calculator app. Okay, so type in calculator. And tap on the search button. In here, you can try to if there is an update, just click on the update button. So you can see here, we have an update button. So click on the update and see what happened. A lot of the people find that after the update is actually causing an issue with the calculator. So you can see here, um, it's after you have update, it actually make that clicking sound. So if I go into settings, and go down to sounds and vibrations and then we go in here and tap on system sound and you can see even if i turn on or turn off it doesn't really make a difference the calculator will make a clicking noise regardless regardless of the touching sound settings so the only way to turn off the calculator sound after the update is to basically turn down the volumes, the system volume settings. So you tap on the volume down key and then tap on the three dots on the menu bar right here. And what you do is you want to lower down your system volume, but while have everything else turned on and that will effectively will not raise any sound for your calculator. Now if I go back into system sound and vibration control, I turn off touch interaction, turn off dialing keypad, turn off Samsung keyboard. And if I go back to my calculator with the system turns, volume turns on. So I've got my system volume turned on. If I tap on the keyboard, it's still causing issues. So this could be really um, intentionally uh, put there so that when you are using the calculator, it makes the noise unless you um, lower the system volume down. Otherwise, you could um, try to do an update, go into your uh, settings and then open up the apps and clear the apps cache or data. So in here, we can try to look for apps and then um, search for calculator, calculator. And then we're going to go down into storage and then we clear um, cache, clear data, tap on OK, and try to reopen the calculator. But I, it, it appears that this is intentionally uh, designed um, so that the calculator sound will correlate to your system sound. So if you want, if you increase your system sound, then the calculator will make that tapping noise. Otherwise, if you lower down the sound, um, the system sound, then it will not make any noise on your calculator. So at the moment, that is the only way how you can turn off your calculator uh, sound is by lowering the volume, your system volume. And the keyboard here, you can see if I tap on the phone key or a keypad, 
it will uh, not make any sound and if I increase the system volume so here it also does not make any sound because um, we have turned off the sound for the keypad so down in keypad we have turn on turn off so so it does look like the calculator now is not part of the touch interactions anymore so touch interactions will basically be uh, like a switch here where you turn on or off you can see if I turn off interactions when I touch time when I tap on the switch it does not make any sound but if I turn on touch interactions it will make a sound based on the toggle buttons for example however calculator is now not part of this touch interactions uh, settings anymore and that is the changes to the calculator and maybe it's not a bug maybe it is intentionally designed like that so thank you for watching this video Please subscribe to my channel for more videos.